Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a very quick method how you can draw a maze using new Affinity Designer version 2. As you may know, they add a very handy tool called Shape Builder tool in the version 2. So we're going to use that. As you can see here, I have prepared some kind of grid. I got vertical and horizontal lines, as you can see. And we're going to use a shape builder property that can detect intersections to draw a maze inside this nice grid. So select both layers, pick shape builder tool from the left or right. Do not pick any action straight away. We don't want to click plus or minus, nothing selected here. And as the method of selection, we'll use line, not a freehand, but line. All right, you can also put checkboxes in everything else and we can start. Just click and then drag this line. You see, that's different than the freehand. It's line. And this is the first line. And I can start from exactly the same square over here. And if I make a mistake, I can hold shift and deselect some of those squares. So that's really nice. You don't need to worry about that. And this way you can build your maze wall by wall by selecting those squares that we create by doing this grid. Every intersection with Shape Builder is treated as a separate shape. Using the line, we are selecting shapes we need to build walls for our maze. And that's really it. After you select all of the walls, you just click the plus button at the top and you will end up with a shape for the whole maze. All right, let me just speed up this video a little bit so I can finish my maze a little bit faster to show you the final result. This process is really simple and do not require any manual or artistic skills. We got a simple grid and we're drawing a line above the squares we want to add to our wall. And that's really it. As I mentioned, if you make a mistake, just hold shift on your keyboard and this way you'll be able to deselect some squares from your wall. All right. So try your best to draw interesting and hard <laughs> maze. And in case you want to use exactly same grid as me, you can download this file. I will drop the link in the description below the video. So feel free to grab my grid if you want to use that. If you got feeling like you are too close or too far from those little squares, it's hard for you to select them. Feel free to zoom in or out. You can do that by using a keyboard shortcut. I recommend this way. Simply command or control plus to zoom in and command control minus to zoom out. All right. Seems like I'm almost done with my maze. Looks good. I'm really happy with this result. And now we're going to turn this selection into a vector shape. Everything is selected with Shape Builder. And now it's time to finally press this plus above. So there's a plus and minus. Don't click the minus one. We want to click the plus. Take a look. Click on the plus. And ta-da! I end up with a shape that's a vector shape, a very nice, very clean vector shape. Of course, we can modify color for this, no problem here. If you want to give it some kind of finishing touch, maybe we can even grab a node tool and do some modification manually at the end. That's also possible. You can make some changes even after you create a shape. Oh, you can select everything with the corner tool and change your corners. In my case, I add some round corners, so it's not that squarish anymore. So we can use the corner tool on our maze as well to get a different result. You can draw another rectangle and put it below your maze to have some kind of a proper backdrop, not just the white color from the artboard. Or you can modify the color of the artboard itself. All right, so let's try that. I will make my maze a little bit darker. I will draw a rectangle below the maze. So I draw it here and then send it back below the maze. All right. And let's add some special effect on the layer with the maze itself. So it's more like a neon. Maybe inner and outer glow will do. Hmm? So outer glow. We can change the color of the light as well. 
something like that all right and then inner glow and this time maybe something more like violet or pink cool so now our maze is more like from the video game than a simple puzzle all right so that's totally up to you you can apply some effects you can round corners as you please as i mentioned the link to the grid is in the description you can grab my file and speed up your process this is probably the last tutorial before christmas so have a nice holiday season and i will see you in the next tutorial bye